to my channel y'all already know what time it is we are back at it with another pick a card reading today and today we are going to be doing what are people's first impressions of you what, are, what assumptions do they make based off their first meeting of you okay so of course we have our three piles here pile number one pile number two and pile number three so you want to close your eyes and you want to meditate over the energy of the piles for a couple of seconds and you want to use your intuition to choose the pile or the piles that call out to you and i will see you guys at your reading so what are people's first impressions and assumptions about you let's find out hey pound number one if you chose this pal welcome to your reading let's get into it what are people's first impressions and assumptions about you let's see what's going on what's the tea chair so we get what did i card it <laughs> what the heck okay we got in the second house okay so we got taurus energy so your beliefs your what you value your resources all right so i'm getting already people may think you like either like you have a lot of money or you're on the road to wealth okay and you're just very patient about it okay we have detective great powers of observation and intuition desire to seek out the truth i'm already getting this pal it's like i feel like y'all are really laid back but it's like when you get around people that you comfortable around like you know, you you about it, about it, okay? <laughs> we got child divine, innocence, purity, and redemption. Suggest a special connection with the divine. I feel like, pal, number one, it's like y'all energy is so common. Like, y'all could literally be Tauruses, so y'all could have Taurus in your chart. I'm hearing Taurus Venus, Taurus rising, okay? But it's like people... Like, I feel like people feel like you see through them in a way. Some of you guys could be, like, again, really, like, into spirituality. Some of you guys could even be psychics, okay? And it's like, I don't know. I feel like when you come around people, their first assumption is, like, you can, like, see right through them. Like, you see how, like, she's looking through this book? Pick it up. <laughs> you see how she's, like, looking through this book? It's like people feel like you can like just look at them and see their story. Maybe it's the case where people feel comfortable like telling you their business, if that makes sense. Like you can meet a complete stranger on the street and they'll just get to telling you like their whole life story. Like I feel like you guys bring a sense of comfort to people. You make people feel heard. So people's assumption is like, you know, they can trust you. I, I just really feel like power number one, y'all give off that trusting energy. You see innocence, pure purity and redemption. It's like when people come around you, they just feel feel like everything is okay i feel like people get the assumption that you are very special i'm hearing god's child okay it's like people just get that sense like when they come in your energy it's nothing to worry about so maybe your energy is very protective as well but it's just like y'all just give off that vibe like when you around me everything is cool maybe i like to take care of people or it, maybe if it's not even like so overt like you um looking out for people it's just you know it's something it's something that's unspoken that people can just tell like you have a good spirit a good heart okay and again i feel like people assume that you're very patient i feel like people assume that it may be really hard to like get you riled up people assume that it's really hard to get you to like fight with other people again because you see right through people it's like if somebody try to manipulate you you like okay i see what you're doing and you can you can go away now <laughs> i feel like y'all are not afraid to protect your peace at all costs so people see you as somebody who is like so calm and secure within themselves that nothing that they say or do can even knock you off your rocker we got community and we got regeneration. What else? What else? What else? We got have faith in your dreams. What the heck? It's not camera cricket. 
Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I got the message. Some of y'all might be really straightening people out. It's like people think that they can mess with you, right? And, like, they try to mess with you. And, like, whatever you do to them, like, you fix their vision in a way. You, like, let them know, like, who you are. Even if, like, it's not you directly doing it. Like, if somebody mess with you, they'll probably, like, instantly get karma. Like, the universe will, like, tap them and be like, you better wake up to who this person is. Y'all could have had, like, a lot of people, like, trying to come at y'all in the past. Especially with this community card here maybe people from like your old community or your hometown never thought you would you know glow up to be all that you are but again i feel like you guys have done a lot of work on yourself and a lot of personal development i'm hearing and y'all have this dream or again y'all have this vision i feel like the universe is also really wanting you to fix your vision and wake up to who you are i'm hearing support so people see you as a support system but i also feel like you have more support than you think you have whether this be actual people or support from the divine again i heard god's child god's child so it's like whatever you want works out even if it doesn't work out at the exact moment it's like you're always gifted with something better okay we got victory yeah what i say if you chose this pal, people's first assumption off you is that you probably, you know, gonna have a little bit of money or that you have a lot of money. Okay, maybe y'all are dressed really nice. But I really don't feel like y'all care so much about what's on the outside. It's like, yeah, you might put effort into your looks and you, you know, might appreciate nice things. Of course, with tourists here, okay, y'all know tourists is all about the aesthetics and the luxury. But it's like, that's not all that you're about. Okay, but people assume that you're going to have some victory in like your finances. So maybe you're very, um, what do you call it? Maybe you're very talented or you have a lot of abilities. But again, I just feel like you guys have this dream or this vision and people's first impression or assumption is that you're going to achieve it. Okay, we have man holding a coin. Okay, yeah, what I say? Money. Is somebody also watching this pal, I feel like? Power number one, somebody could be watching y'all. Somebody with money. Maybe somebody wants to help you out. This could definitely be somebody that's interested in you romantically. This is a side message, y'all. So maybe it could be this person that's assuming this about you as well. Again, look. As I split the deck, King of Pentacles coming through. Y'all, is somebody watching this, pal? For some of y'all, if you are a masculine, this could be your energy. Just having money and maybe you're watching somebody. But I feel get that if you're a more feminine energy, somebody could be watching you. What's going on with this judgment in the sun? Y'all, if you've been struggling with money lately, it's coming to an end. Something is changing. You can't, you might not necessarily be able to see it, but this pal, again, if you don't already have this money, people assume that you're going to have it in the future. And I feel like that time is coming very, very, very soon. I just heard July, May, July. Even Leo season for Pentacles. I'm hearing save. Maybe it's something that you want to do and it's going to require you to save. But I feel like you're going to be getting the money to actually save. So if you've been having like a lot of bills and you haven't been necessarily having the money to save up, that's about to change. Now you're going to have, instead of having just enough, you're going to have more than enough. Yeah. what I say? Pound and boy, y'all about to come into some money. And, it, and like I said, if people were assuming that y'all had money and you didn't, it's because it's coming to pass right now. Y'all financial situation is changing, pal number one. Congratulations. We get assessing. I feel like this, pal, y'all might get a lot of people staring at you. I'm here. I can't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> it's like people can't quite put their finger on your divinity like if you're really talented you have a lot of abilities you really put yourself out there people are just like how does this person do it so people's first like assumptions and impressions about you is they don't even know what to assume i feel like you guys are full of surprises we have nourishment again this is coming out of the community i feel like you guys are like, could be very inspirational or people just assume that you're very caring people assume that you have a lot to offer Okay, their first impressions could be that you're somebody very healthy. So a lot of y'all could be very, um, like maybe into working out, or you could just be really into physical fitness or eating right. Or people assume that you do. We have adaptability. Okay, I'm getting Gemini energy coming out. So Taurus energy, Gemini energy. I just heard Sagittarius energy. Okay, it's like people assume that whatever life throws you, whatever lessons and transformations come your way, you're going to be able to adapt to it just fine. 
I'm hearing you've been through the fire. So this could literally be people that knew you as a child or people from your hometown that have seen you go through some type of transformation. Okay? And, like, now I'm hearing doubt. These people could have doubted you. But now it's like everything is turning around. Y'all, so it's a bunch of different messages in this pal. But, again, I'm hearing otherworldly or out of this world. Okay, maybe somebody just did not in a million years expect that something would happen for you that's currently happening or about to happen. But I feel like you guys have faith. Like, again, I feel like this is a long time coming for you guys. We have communication. Some of you guys could even have this vision of, like, getting some type of message out there or you're a speaker or you want to be a speaker. Okay, whether that be on, you know, social media, whether this be you, like, speaking to people in your community. I'm here a nonprofit. Some of you guys could literally work for nonprofits or you want to start a nonprofit or you um, just want to be a humanitarian, humanitarian of some type. Some of you guys could even be Aquariuses. But I just feel like you guys care. And I feel like if you do have a lot of money or you are coming into a lot of money, you aren't going to spend it on, like, you know, clothes and cars and houses and stuff like that. Like, not to say that that's a bad thing, but I'm just saying, like, you know how people, like, get a lot of money and buy, like, six cars or they buy all these clothes that they don't even wear or they buy a big dumbass house that they don't even need, you know? I feel like you guys, when y'all come into this money, you're the type to get it. You're going to buy what you need and then you're going to put the rest into, you know, putting it into other people, putting it into a community, or just helping other people out. I feel like you guys are very generous, okay? I don't know why I'm hearing, don't leave me, girl. Y'all know I can't sing, but I just heard that. <laughs> so maybe, like, it's people from your past, like, that didn't want to let you go, but you had to leave. You had to get out there so you can chase this dream that you had. Look, as I say, that movement, choices, and decision. A lot of y'all made the choice to leave people behind or leave some things behind. Again, for this transformation. So y'all did it. I'm here. <laughs> we made it. Even if you don't feel like you made it yet, it's all coming into fruition. That's why Spirit is asking you to have this Taurus energy. To be patient. And for some of y'all, y'all are literally about to come into some form of help. And this person is watching you. Okay? And they want to help you out. We gonna get a. I'm gonna get an archetype card on this person, cause he keeps coming out. Spirit, man, holding the coin. What I tell y'all? This could even be another person. This could be a person that's like um spiritual, or they're like, you know, really into. Again, I'm hearing personal development. Um, this person is just really in tune. This is somebody you probably been manifesting. Okay, Don Juan, satellite share positive, seductive qualities, priest, facilitates spiritual commitment, serves as a channel of spiritual energy. Some of y'all got this person that's coming in, and I feel like this person is more on the spiritual side, or they're just more inspirational. Again, this person could even be a speaker, but this person could be watching y'all. Again, I feel like this is very specific, maybe just for a few of y'all, but yeah. That's what I'm getting for you, pal number one. So if you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Hey, pal number two, if you chose this pal, welcome to your reading. Let's get into it, okay? So what are people's first impressions and assumptions about my pal number two? So we got in Pisces, okay? So people assume that you're, I'm here free-flowing. People assume that you're a very spiritual energy, okay? That you have a lot of dreams, okay? People could even idealize you, okay? So people might put you on like this pedestal and just think you are all this person. I'm not saying that you aren't, but it's like people could like get to like the point where like they don't even like see like y'all know how everybody got their positive and negative attributes or i shouldn't say positive negative light and shadow attributes okay because we all working on something we all healing something so people could just like assume that you don't even have any shadow attributes i'm getting like perfect okay i'm hearing perfect by um chris brown and dave east so people could assume or their first impression of you is that you're perfect or that you um, like things to be perfect. So I'm getting Pisces and Virgo energy. People like really, I'm hearing this in your eyes. <laughs> so maybe the way you look at people like makes people feel like they're the only one in the room. I'm feeling like, yeah. And people feel like your intuition is on point as well. Like they can't get one over on you. But again, I'm just getting like a very spiritual energy, very watery, very dreamy. I'm hearing elusive. So people's first impression of you is that you are hard to catch. Okay, 
we have scribe preserving knowledge and information maybe y'all like to write okay or people just assume their first impressions of you is that your words i'm like hearing like your words are so captivating like and again this doesn't even have to be like you really writing things down this could just be like you speaking and again i'm hearing that eye contact so i'm hearing people get lost in your eyes okay like maybe this pal it's like y'all could say anything and people will just agree to it not even really listening to what y'all saying because they looking so deep into y'all eyes that like they can't even like understand okay i'm definitely picking up on like this is how people that are romantically interested and in you feel for real we got avenger okay desire to balance the scales of justice righteousness on behalf of society or oneself okay i feel like with this pal people assume that y'all get y'all way all the time or people's first impression is that you can get your way with them okay or that you are a fighter all right, y'all might, um, some of y'all could literally be, like, in law school or maybe that's a dream that you had as a child. But it's like, I feel like <laughs> I'm getting, like, a the vibe of somebody that's, like, you know, oh, you know what I'm saying? Um, legally blind. That's the vibe I'm getting, like, ill. Okay, like, she, you know how she was all pretty and she was prissy and, like, luxurious and all this. And you wouldn't even expect her to, like, you know, be a lawyer, let alone, like, give the speech at, you know, the law school graduation. It's like, y'all really shock people. I feel like it's the case that y'all could just be, like, really pretty, drop dead, gorgeous. But at the same time, you're smart as hell. And people just do not see that coming, okay? And, like, your words, like, your words are sharp. It's like, maybe, like, let's say, like... I'm getting the scene like people out at the club, all right? And you, you know, you working it. You got on your little outfit. You got on your heels and you doing all, you know, whatever. And it's like somebody is looking at you across the room. This person been looking at you across the room like the whole night. And like, you know, they might be thinking you a little bit naive. But then when they finally talk to you, you, you cutting into them. You getting to the bottom of it, okay? <laughs> so it's like people like... You're kind of like a trickster in a way because it's like you come off as one way or people see you as being one way. But then when you open your mouth, child, look, <laughs> they better not mess with you. We got a new life here. Okay? So people assume that when they meet you, their life is going to change in some way or that you change their life. Again, I'm getting that energy of like you're just a surprise. Like... You look one way, but then when they get to know you or when you open your mouth and you begin to speak and they hear all this knowledge that you have, you know, you change people. I feel like this pal, you change people with your words. Okay? People's first impression is you cha you change them or you change their opinion on people like you. But I feel like there's nobody really like you, but you get what I'm saying. We got deep knowing. Some of y'all could be very, very, very intuitive. You got deep knowing and you got in Pisces. Okay, so maybe people assume that, you know, you know their secrets or that you're going to know their secrets. But with this new life here, I just really feel like y'all make people see things a different way. Or people assume that you're going to change their life in some way. Because I just feel like deep down, they feel like they know everything about you. They feel like they know how they're going to play it with you. And then just something happens and they finally get to know you. And they just, that whole idea of what they thought they were going to do just goes out the window. Y'all are very unpredictable. I'm hearing Unpredictable by um, Jamie Foxx. Some of y'all could really like Jamie Foxx. I'm even seeing the movie Soul. So it could be the case too. Like, I'm hearing spiritual baddies. <laughs> so some of y'all could just, you know, be like, again, like real bad, like drop dead, gorgeous. Like y'all be, you know, y'all be busting fits. Y'all be doing all that. And it's like people just, you know, look at you and they, they assume that because like they don't see like the typical spiritual like look or aesthetic that you're not going to be like that. But it's like you really like that. It's like they just get so confused like with your energy but in a good way yeah i'm here i really do this though like you didn't think so but i do okay <laughs> we gotta take time to breathe out yeah y'all be making people have to stop and like rethink i just really feel like people just really think that they gonna get it's like you know salt and sugar like they really think that they it's gonna be sweet they think that you know Again, I'm hearing naive. People may think that you're naive. And then they get a spoon full of you and, like, it's actually, like, salt. It's actually, like, you know, don't play with me because I will tear you up. I feel like y'all be eating people up with y'all words. 
<laughs> it's like people try to come for y'all or say a certain thing and it's like they think you gonna go but it's like nah so people's first impression of you is kind of like the opposite of what you truly are that's what i'm getting we have second chakra archangel area again i feel like y'all have this sex appeal okay i'm getting like marilyn monroe energy again like um L Woods, legally blonde, okay, like that type of energy, like very, very. You look one way on the outside, but it's just so much substance on the inside. So people judge you off your appearance a lot. Pile number two, we have ma magician in the mirror. Yes, what did I say? Like y'all could be, people could see you as hot or cold, and then y'all just really hot. Y'all really like. I don't know why I'm hearing snappy, but it's like y'all just do not let people get away with things. Like y'all are quick to like put somebody in a place, especially if they think you, they're, I'm sorry, especially if they think they're going to disrespect you or come at you any particular way just because of the way that they look. I feel like I'm hearing jaw dropping, like y'all be leaving people speechless, like after they finally like come in your energy. We have patience here. Number 36 could be important to somebody. 53. Okay. Or a lot of threes. 39. 43. Um, Y'all could be seeing 333. But with this patience here. Okay. <laughs> let me look. Because I'm looking at my eyes. I really like focus like on like this corn. It looks like she like in a cornfield or something. Again, I'm feeling like. Maybe people, I'm sorry, like, this, you know, this could just be people's first impression. But, y'all, don't, you know, take this too, you know, personally. Maybe people could think, like, you shallow in the way they look at you. Their first impression is that you may be a shallow person. But, again, you see how all these plants, they're deeply rooted. Like, y'all, people's first impression of you is the exact opposite of what you are. Okay? Like, y'all be really confusing people. You see how this person has on a mask? Like, y'all are really, like, people cannot even fathom what you're actually going to be like. Because y'all just give off the energy of something completely different than what you are. We have realization, yep, but then people realize, like, after they, you know, find this patience to finally get to know you, it's like they open a the door to a whole another different person, and that's when your life changes. So some of y'all could, um, again, be really into spirituality. Maybe the people that come around you, the people that you date or get romantically involved with, you always leave some type of mark or impression on them. So if y'all are more spiritual and y'all, like, come into contact with, like, a guy or, like, a woman who isn't as awakened as you, they always leave you, like, with deep deeper realizations about life i feel like people always leave you better than they found you spiritually or i'm sorry turn it up around you always leave people better than you found them especially spiritually we have communion yep yep <laughs> i feel like again y'all i'm just getting that energy people just really do not know who they messing with i'm hearing chosen that song chosen i don't know exactly who it's by but if y'all do drop it in the comments okay i think it just came out last year it just came out recently um but it's the song was like girl you chosen y'all know what song i'm talking about just drop it in the comments but yeah <laughs> people get to know you and feel like you're chosen okay they feel like they were meant or destined to come across your path in some way okay i feel like you be out here changing power people's lives power number two like what you be doing <laughs> You got people, it's like you, you bring them in with like your glare or your eye contact. And that's why they think, you know, things going to be sweet. But then when they actually get down to the bottom to it, they like, dang, like this person, I'm hearing, this girl is deep. <laughs> she really deep. She really like that. <laughs> I'm hearing knowledge. Yup. Yeah, y'all just too smart for y'all on good power number two. In the best way, of course. It's like people, again, have to take a deep breath. I feel like y'all are filled with so much knowledge that people just do not expect from you. Y'all just look one way on the outside. And look, look, remember I said the cold and the hot energy? Look at this. Hot, cold. Y'all, mm, I would hate to mess with y'all power number three. I feel like y'all be really eating the girls up. <laughs> Like, do not play with y'all. Oh, my God, y'all. This is very powerful energy. I'm hearing shapeshifter. It's like y'all could potentially have the power to make people see you how you want them to see you until it's really time to, like, you know, attack. <laughs> so y'all could be very discreet. Y'all could be very private. 
y'all could even be the type it's like y'all don't go out that often but when y'all go out y'all show out and that's just on period so we got temptation and we got stand your ground yeah i feel like y'all it could be the case somebody here is like y'all could dress like really like i don't know just like y'all clothes like y'all could like wear tight clothes and this is not me coming at y'all because y'all know y'all even see my thumbnails like i like to wear tight clothes and small clothes and all that too but it's like you know how people judge you based off how you dress and then it's like like people like are like so tempted by you and y'all could again have that nice body that nice physique and all that and just people again think that you're gonna be like naive in a way or they think that they're gonna be able to come in and sweet talk you and you're just like no like you stand your ground it's like people like again like y'all vibe is so like you come off one way it's like y'all hot to people right it's like y'all hot y'all on fire y'all smoking all that and then like when they come to you they step to you and if they do it the wrong way, y'all immediately go cold. So, I feel like y'all are very discerning, my pal, number two. Very, very discerning. So, that's what I'm getting for you. Actually, I'm getting some tarot. Let me just get one. Let me just get one. Can I get a tarot? What'd I say? Y'all make people go back and forth. And again, with this magician here, y'all are capable of, like, making people see you how you want them to see you so of course one day maybe you you dressing in like your your tight fit your clothes and you looking good and you got on makeup and you snatched and all that but the next day you like chill and you got on your sweats and a t-shirt and some gym shoes like that type of energy okay i feel like y'all dress to like who you know how you want to feel you know who you want to be in a particular day okay so y'all could even be gemini's here picking up on heavy gemini energy and even aquarius i'm feeling so yeah, that's what I'm getting for you, pal number two. If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Hey, pal number three. If you chose this pal, welcome to your reading. So let's get into it, okay? What are people's assumptions and first impressions about you? Let's get into it. Why am I seeing the movie Life Size? Y'all know that movie Life Size about um it got Tyra Banks and Lizzie Lohan? I'm seeing that movie. So somebody, maybe some of y'all want to be a model or y'all like that movie or like y'all, um, what's that, what's Tyra's show? America's Next Time Model? Y'all could have liked to watch that or I'm just hearing model, like some, some of the model. We have the North Node, okay? There will be success from benefit, have faith in. So people's first assumption about you is that you're on the road to success, okay? That you're following your dreams, that you're in your North Node. People assumption about you is that you're truly living out your purpose or you're on your way to what else so maybe so maybe so maybe some of y'all literally want to be models like i'm just getting that we have god okay benevolence and compassion recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others yeah engineer okay ability to give creative energy a practical expression talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas okay y'all um people's first impressions about you is that y'all have a nice balance going on so i feel like y'all are spiritual but at the same time y'all you know have this technical side some of y'all could even be into science or maybe growing up like your favorite subject was science physics chemistry all that all right you know how some people are kind of like just all spiritual and some people are just like all logic i feel like y'all like the perfect balance in between which is why you're in your true north y'all are really really balanced some of y'all could be libras okay libra sagittarius aquarius but it's like people's first assumption is that again like you have this spiritual side this spiritual aspect of you but you also know when to get to work so maybe you guys pray a lot but you also know that in order for your prayers to be fully realized it comes to pass that you actually have to put in the work to get it we have loyal heart okay let me read so people assume that you're very loyal i feel like you guys could just be really like on your path to like self-growth and self-development so like you really don't care to be backstabbing people you really don't care to be gossiping about people so people assume that like maybe their secrets will be safe with you or people assume that if they were to do something maybe like in front of your face you're not going to go and tell everybody like about it okay i feel like people may feel comfortable like 
messing up in front of you or making mistakes in front of you because i just get the feeling that y'all aren't judgmental i feel like y'all have been through so much y'all went through so many things maybe in the past like y'all were living out your self note and now it's to the point where like you lived out your self note you passed a lot of these lessons that you had to go through and that's why you're in this north note so i'm getting like y'all understand I'm hearing I understand by Smokey Norfolk. So again, I feel like y'all could be very spiritual. Maybe some of y'all could even be into gospel music. Some of y'all could be into church. But it's not like overkill to the point where it's like, y'all know who the, the some, some of the people that go to church be all, you know, just like really into it and like live by Bible scriptures. Like they don't even, you know, fully embody in their life every day. It's like y'all aren't like that. Some of y'all, it could be the case that y'all like grew up in church okay and it's like you didn't make that too much of your identity if that makes sense it's like you know how some people that go to church it's like they like get that really instilled in them and they become like really 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 religious i feel like y'all grew up and found that balance within yourself so yeah maybe you subscribe to a particular religion or a thing but you do not let that overtake you you do not let that you know go too far and just let your life be all about that i'm just really getting a balanced energy and you see how it's two of them balance people really trust y'all pal number three people feel like they can trust y'all you feel like you loyal. Look, we got poets. What did I say? Some of y'all could definitely want to be a model or like you like watching model shows or fashion shows. Maybe some of y'all watch the um, Savage X Fenty shows on Amazon. I'm seeing that. But I'm just getting like y'all are very chill and relaxed. It's like when people expect you to be a certain way or maybe people would expect you to be upset. But it's like you always keep your composure. Okay, I'm just getting like this pal. Like y'all are very, very understanding it's like and y'all aren't judgmental i'm just getting like a healthy like you know i've been through it too so i understand oh you made a mistake i've made mistakes too i feel it some of y'all could be natural counselors or people just come to y'all and want to tell y'all about things that have gone on Maybe some of y'all, I'm here a family mediator. Maybe y'all the person that everybody in the family comes to when they having issues and stuff. <sighs> y'all, I swear I did not see this car. Happy family. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, people assume that you are like, are like the person that brings everybody together or that you have that possibility to bring everybody together. Okay? People assume that, you know, when they come around you, they're going to be united with people. So y'all could place a lot of emphasis on family or y'all community or that could just be really important to you. So people assume that your family is very, very, very important to you. What the heck? We only got one of these. Thought I had to. Okay. We have journey here. So again, I feel like people, I'm hearing, I don't know why I'm hearing through the wire by Kanye West. People could assume that you're on some type of journey, that you're on some type of mission. That's what I'm hearing more so, mission. People assume that you're like on a journey to save the world or something. <laughs> or at least to save your world or people in your world. I'm hearing Pack Light, okay? So, what's that song, Erica Badu, Bag Lady? People assume that, you know, you just do not take a lot of baggage with you. You see how she only got two suitcases? It's probably like like you you guys could probably move a lot or you have the desire to move a lot. Y'all wanna explore. I'm just getting like a very how can I say it? Very dynamic energy. It's like one day you're over here, one day you're over here. It's like y'all like to fill y'all lives up with a variety and abundance. So people assume that there is an abundance of things to know about you. There is abundance of things that you truly like. We have the path. Y'all with the path journey in the North Node. Again, with this, people assume that you're on some type of divine mission. That you're truly in your purpose. That you're doing exactly what you are meant to do. People feel like you are blessed. And that even people could even assume that you have it all figured out. That's what I'm getting, y'all. Even if you feel like you don't with you, none of us do truly but like people just assume that you have things figured out or people just assume that you know the answer and you're just like shoot i'm trying to figure it out just like you okay <laughs> i'm trying to get to the bottom of things just like you so maybe you give good advice 
okay or pe just people just assume that you like have the answers but it's like your secret is really you released you do not let old mindsets hold you back you do not let old baggage again i'm here in pack like you do not let old things hold you back that's really y'all secret y'all don't stay in places that make you feel down or make you feel low it's like y'all the type of person if you don't like something you about to get out there and change it i feel like that's y'all secret and people assume that you just hold this hidden knowledge but you just feel like it's common sense i'm just hearing like if you don't like it change it if you don't like it why do you keep going back to that i feel like people assume that you have courage to do what it takes where people will be so afraid and terrified people assume that you just are fearless and i'm not saying that y'all are fearless maybe some things that y'all do do make you afraid but it's like at the end of the day you're not gonna let fear hold you back People see you or assume that you're very, very optimistic, that you believe in the impossible, that you really believe in the unknown in a way that just because I don't know what's going to happen doesn't mean it's going to be mad, bad, okay? It's like I could run into something that is completely for me that makes me happy. Y'all aren't afraid to take a risk, pal number three. We have the past. Again, y'all are not afraid to release the past. People assume that y'all are not afraid to release the past. It's like with this loyal heart here, it's like y'all know how people have like a certain friend group like from all their life, but they not really friends. <laughs> it's like y'all the person in the friend group that actually leave that if you feel like somebody really isn't for you. Whereas other people will stay because they fear going off and attracting new friends or wanting better for themselves. I feel like people assume that y'all are not afraid to want better and do better. Like y'all, this pal, people assume that you're always changing. Like it's always going to be a different version of you that comes like every time somebody see you it's like you you different you change we have the in between yeah i feel like y'all don't i'm just really getting the impression y'all don't stay in one spot for too long or it's like again when y'all get a feeling that one particular place that you're in isn't right for you you aren't afraid to move forward some of y'all could definitely be in the in between right now maybe y'all are moving through a different phase in y'all lives I don't know why i keep picking up model somebody want to be a model or maybe you're a role model to people that's what it could be we have the in between spirit what's this in between about the ten of wands y'all are currently in between releasing something okay or people are in between your releasing of them they don't know how to feel yeah as i say that People from the past, people who could lie and de like deceive you or lie to you, lied about you. Okay, maybe somebody people kind of like spark this spiritual transformation and spiritual growth within you. Yeah, with the devil here, y'all. These are people from your past coming out, and like they're just shocked at the glow up. Okay, so don't be surprised if you got people from your past hitting you up. And now they feel overburdened about what they done to you or what they said about you. Because, again, I feel like you guys weren't always this person. It's like you were, like, the least likely person to, like, grow up and become the person that you are. And it got people shocked. They shook, okay? They shaking in their boots. <laughs> we got it's time to release negativity. Full Moon and Scorpio. What did I say, pal? Number two, three. People assume that you aren't afraid to cut it out. Cut it off. I'm here. Cut it out. <laughs> I'm seeing um, Full House. What was that? Um, what was that uncle was saying? Was it Uncle Joey or I don't know, y'all? Y'all know how he used to be. Cut it out. <laughs> I'm hearing that like y'all cut off game. It's like ridiculous. It's like you catch one bad bad. Oop! I'm gone. <laughs> I love that for y'all, pal number three. Do not let these people play with y'all. Because you know if you give them an inch, they will take them out and have you fucked up. So, I, I love that for y'all. Keep being in that energy because they don't deserve to play with you at all. You've done way too much work. Like, who even has time for that, okay? We got foundation and achievements. I feel like people assume that one day you're going to have a happy family. Like, you're going to have a divine union of some type. People assume that you're going to be a great partner to somebody. Whether this be wife or husband okay people's first impression is like you would make a you're like husband or wifey material i'm getting and you're gonna be very accomplished i'm hearing the first lady okay the first lady by eric bellinger but i just feel like people feel like you you would be a nice homemaker 
And then we got the base chakra. As I say that, security, stability. People assume that you want a happy family and that you're going to get it. People assume that you're loyal and that you deserve a loyal partner. And that you're going to get it again, two of wands. Yes, my pal number three. Again, I love this for y'all. Y'all are very, very powerful. Continue on this path. Wheel of Fortune here. Continue going down this path because it's going to bring you some rewards. So, that's what I'm getting for you, pal number three. If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.